See this guy here? That's my pal, Senor Stuffy. He's always trying to teach us about anatomy. So, let's see what we're gonna be learning about today. <laughs> Looks like it's all about the heart on today's Virtual Science Short. Your heart, one of the most important organs inside of your body. You guys probably already know a little bit about it. We know the heart's responsible for pumping blood throughout our body. That blood is gonna carry oxygen to our muscles, to our organs, to our brain, everywhere that we need in order to stay awake and stay active. But do you know just how hard this heart is working every single day? Well, on average, this thing pumps about 115,000 times every single day. And every time it pumps, it pushes blood. How much blood? About 2,000 gallons every single day. Now, since it's so important, it's also important to make sure your heart stays nice and healthy. But how do we actually keep track of whether our heart is healthy or not? Well, we're gonna go ahead and make something today that you guys can actually use to listen to your heart and make sure you're staying nice and healthy. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, throughout the month of October, we're gonna be focusing all about anatomy, and that's going to be some of the key things we're gonna find in each of our STEM bags. This one, focusing on the heart. Now, if we open up the STEM kit, you're gonna find some really awesome activities. Let's go ahead and check these things out. Now, in this STEM kit, we're gonna be making our own DIY stethoscope. Now, you've probably seen a stethoscope before hanging around a doctor's neck the next time you go to the hospital, but we're gonna be making our own stethoscope. That way, you can observe your heart, but not to look at it, rather to listen to it. Make sure you have a nice, healthy heartbeat. So, let's jump into it. You, hey you, come here. Are you still watching? Well, if you are, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of the awesome stuff we have coming for you. Now that we have our supplies, let's go ahead and start assembling our stethoscope. Now, the first thing you wanna grab is this silicone tube, right? This is going to be the tube that the sound of the heartbeat is going to travel through. Now, what we're going to do is take these funnels that we have and place them inside of both ends. All right, so you just wanna make sure you push them in there all the way, that way it's nice and secure. Right, so go ahead and slide that in, all right? And you might get a little snap there at the end. So we're gonna go ahead and take our balloon and our scissors and actually cut our balloon. Now you can cut it in a few different places, but the end goal is to actually have the balloon covering one end of this funnel. So you wanna make sure you have enough of the balloon surface area to cover the end of the funnel. So I'm gonna cut mine right about here. All right, once you get it stretched over the funnel, this is where you're gonna go ahead and grab your electrical tape. And you're gonna tape right around the edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Now you wanna make sure you stretch it over the top, that way it's nice and tight and taut all the way through before you wrap the tape around. And you can wrap it around a couple times. Make sure it's nice and secure. Just like that, we have our finished stethoscope. Now, the stethoscope is gonna be used to listen to your heart. To your heart. But you don't wanna just make sure your heart is beating. If you're up and around, your heart's most likely doing its job. What you really want to look for is how often your heart is going to be beating or how many beats per minute, the number of heartbeats over the course of 60 seconds. So you might want to grab a stopwatch or a timer and go ahead and try to keep track of how many times your heart beats over a minute. Now to use this stethoscope, you're going to take the open end and place it over your ear and you're going to take the part with the balloon and place it right over your heart. And your heart is going to be on the left side of your chest. Now it's best to do this in a nice quiet room, make sure there's no one around and no sounds, and listen for your heart. You guys hear that? Yeah, that's my heartbeat. Now you wanna go ahead and start that timer and count how many times your heart is going to beat over 60 seconds. Or if you wanna do it a little bit quicker, you can count how many times your heart's going to be beating over 10 seconds and multiply it by six. Now the fun doesn't have to stop there. What you just found is your resting heart rate or the heart rate that you have at a normal activity level. I'm just sitting here not doing very much, so I'm nice and at rest. If you wanna see your heart rate go up, you're gonna have to go up and get, do some exercise. So come on guys, let's head outside and do some exercise. Whew. 
That was exhausting. But now that I've done a lot of exercise, let's go ahead and find my heart rate and see how much it's increased. Now, there's a very easy way you guys can get your hands on one of these kits. The first way is just join us here at the Science Center. All through the month of October, we're gonna be giving away these free STEM kits with admission if you're coming in for our 1130 interactive STEM activity. But if you can't make your way to the Science Center, be sure to head online to sfsciencecenter.org. You can actually purchase these kits, pick them up curbside, and try these things at home as you follow along with me, giving you all the video instructions. We're excited to bring you guys so many of these awesome activities throughout the month, so I'll see you guys next time.